Hello everyone, how are you? Today I thought we could have a little sit down, catch up. It's been a while, I've got a lot on my mind, so let's get into it. I am going to try and share a lot of my makeup with you as well, because I kind of want to go over my routine lately and what products I have been really drawn to. So let's zoom it in, shall we? Nice. Of course, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible. <laughs> Is there a day that goes by where I don't use it? Not really. My skin's actually looking quite nice at the moment. <laughs> okay, so my brows, I've been really trying something new and I've been going in with soap brows. So I picked up this bar of pear soap from Chemist Warehouse for a few dollars and then I just brought a little Kmart soap holder to put it in. So it's not that like aesthetically pleasing but it does the job so then I just go in with a bit of this BYS hydrating spritz and I just wet the soap a little now I have a spoolie here and it's absolutely disgusting I really need to wash my makeup brushes this is my pile of brushes that need to be washed <sighs> so please don't judge the spoolie that I am about to use because it's disgusting so what I do is I get the soap and I rub my spoolie in there and then I like to brush my brow like backwards to get that soap all up in those hairs and then I go ahead and brush them up and get them into a fairly nice shape and then I flatten them down. So usually when I'm doing my makeup, I will do my foundation first and brows a little bit later, but I find when I'm using the soap, I need to do them first because the soap kind of gets on my skin and I like to be able to wipe that off. Okay, so now that I've got them brushed into place, I like to just roll the end of the brush over them to flatten. And then I just like to take a makeup wipe or a cotton pad with some micellar water and just tidy up the bottom and the top to get rid of any soap residue. And then I'm just going to leave them until my base and everything so that they can set down and then I'll go in with a few more products a bit later. Now it has been really hot here in Queensland so for foundation I've been going in with either my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop or my Maybelline Superstay but I have been mixing in a little bit of this designer brand Skin Renew foundation. This has quite a dewy finish and it just makes these foundations look a little bit more hydrating but I'm still getting that long lasting finish from the other foundations. I feel like going for something a little more lightweight today so I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. I haven't used this for a while so I can't remember how the shade matches. All right so let's address what I feel is the elephant in the room and that is why is your upload schedule so shit at the moment? <laughs> I feel like I've really been slacking and I'm so sorry but I am busy and I feel like I've addressed this before but I just want to say it again just in case but with the house um, we've started wedding planning again and just life in general I've been pretty busy. <laughs> My boss has been really good and for all of February she's given me an extra day off during the week and then I just extend the other four days of my working hours so that I can really dedicate some time to getting back into wedding planning. And that's been great. I feel really on top of wedding planning, but because my work days are so long, when I come home, I don't want to sit down and edit. I don't want to think. I just want to have some food and zone out for a bit or watch some TV. So I do have a bit of content filmed. I just haven't had time to edit it. And I'm really excited about the content that I've got coming up as well. I feel like I just want to get it all filmed now and just put it all out there. But I literally just don't have the time. We are almost done with the house though. Not like almost done. We haven't started building. But we're almost done with all the decisions and the planning. We had our final meeting yesterday where we went over all the plans, all our decisions, made sure it was all correct. There is a little bit that needs to be changed. And then we're just waiting on the bank. And then we send the plans off for council approval. And then hopefully the house can start being built. And we won't have to worry about it as much because 
it'll just it'll just happen the site supervisor will contact us when needed but hopefully we don't have too many more decisions to make and I can kind of just put it to the side and it can do its thing on its own <laughs> that's what I'm hoping anyway it probably won't happen like that for concealer I've been using the Enco Beauty instant concealer this is the camouflage and contour I actually did a review on this recently so I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch it it is a really good concealer, but the shade is just a bit too dark for me. So yeah, it was good to have that meeting and finalize everything. And then on our way home, we decided to swing by the land and see if it was ready because we haven't been able to actually go and stand on our land and take a good look at it because they sell it before it's actually ready. That's how crazy the market is at the moment. So yesterday we went over there and the gate was open, the roads are down, the trees are planted, footpaths are in. I'm like, oh my God. So we got out of the car and finally got to walk on our land and like size it out, see what it's all about. It was so exciting. For powder, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I'm going to use this under the eyes and then lightly over the rest of my face. If you haven't tried this powder yet, you need to get on it. It is so beautiful. It really blurs and smooths the skin. It's just magical. We had our color appointment a few weeks ago to pick out like everything in the house and it was literally the easiest part of this whole thing. I'll go and get um, our samples and show you. <laughs> Alrighty, so this tile here is our main floor. It's called the Regina Grey Mat. Very nice. We're going pretty neutral because we are planning on reselling this house one day. So we didn't want to go like too crazy with the decisions. So that's the main floor. This is the bathroom tile. It's a bit lighter. Our tiles in the bathroom are going from floor to ceiling. So that's why we wanted to go with a lighter color so that it didn't like close off the bathroom. And then in the bathroom, we are so freaking excited for this. We chose to do a feature wall behind the vanity and into the shower. And we went with this long white tile and I'm hoping you can see that it's textured. So there's a bit of texture to it and we're getting it laid in a herringbone pattern. So I'll put a picture on the screen of like our inspiration, but we are so excited to see that come to life. For our cabinetry, we went with a timber look. So this is going to be the cabinetry throughout the kitchen and in the bathrooms. And in the bathrooms, we're going with a floating vanity. Oh my God. And then for our bench tops, we went with a white. This one is called Arcadia. There's a tiny little bit of a speckle through it. We originally wanted something with a bigger speckle, but the lady at the cabinetry meeting put them both together and it just looked a bit busy. So that's why we end up going for something with a smaller speckle. This will be the stone in the kitchen, laundry, and the bathrooms. I just can't believe that we're actually building our own house. Like this is so exciting. Would you guys be interested in seeing more house related content when the time comes? Like, do you wanna see um, like updates and progress videos or like house styling videos. I know this is like a beauty channel, but I would love to share that if you're interested in seeing it. Otherwise, I'll just put it over on my Instagram stories. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with a cream. This is the Soul Bronzer in the shade Light. I'm really hoping that the drugstore starts to bring out some more cream bronzing products. I feel like they went pretty heavy and like are still going heavy on the cream brushes. Ugh blushes lately and I am loving that but I feel like the drugstore is missing cream bronzers hopefully they can do it and not make them too warm either like the cream bronzer from Fenty is the perfect shade this one here in butter biscuit see how much more cool toned it is than this soul bronzer this is just one of my favorites speaking of bronzers can I just say I love it and like it feels so good when you guys buy my recommendations and love them as well. I've had so many of you guys say that you picked up the Essence 
contouring duo palette and freaking love it and I just love hearing that. I'm so glad it's working for you and you enjoy it. I really only try to promote products that I really love and enjoy and I know products aren't always going to work for everyone but when they do it just makes my heart happy. For blush I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me. I'm really trying to use this up hey. And then I'm going to go in with this BYS Lip and Cheek Glow. This is in the shade Peach and it's just a cream product. And I'm going to put a little bit of this over the top. I find that this isn't super pigmented and it doesn't last very long on the skin, but it's very glowy and glossy. So I like to put it over a powder so that I'm still getting the pigment and the longevity from the powder, but I'm getting that nice glossy finish from the blush stick. So how many of you guys watch Jessica Braun here on YouTube? Because I am like major fan. Don't miss a video. Absolutely love her videos and all her recommendations. Her vlogs are really good as well. Recently, she did a video testing out some of her favorite YouTubers' favorite products from 2020. And it was a really good video. I loved finding new people to watch and new products to look into. And so I thought, why don't I do a video testing out Jessica Braun's favorite makeup. So I've actually got a few little things that have been arriving and I am so excited to test them out. You know I had to pick up the Misha BB cream. She raves about that and I didn't think it was accessible for us Aussies but I actually found it on iHerb and I was messaging someone on Instagram and she said it's also available on YesStyle and Amazon. Now the shade range is absolutely terrible but I did pick up two to try out because I am a lot fairer than Jessica. But yeah if you watch her videos I hope that you'll be interested in the one I'm going to do. I'm really excited. She loves a lot of drugstore products and that's something that I really enjoy watching. <laughs> See how that just leaves a gloss? Yes. I think this would probably work really well if you applied it with your finger too, if you don't have a brush. I like to use the Sigma Contour Brush. <laughs> I get so mixed up with the word brush and blush, hey? But this is a duo fiber, so it works really well for liquid and cream products. Another product I'm really trying to use up is this Mecca Enlightened Lit From Within Illuminating Balm. It's such a good product and I literally have like the tiniest bit left. <laughs> Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> All right, before I go any further, I'm going to use a bit of my Rimmel setting spray. And then to keep that glow, I'm also going to go in with the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. Okay, so let's move on to brows. I am going to go in with a powder. Now I have been all about the brow pencils lately, the micro tip brow pencils, but with the soap brows, I felt as though they were just looking a bit too heavy. So I decided to test out a powder and I've got this NYX eyebrow cake powder that I haven't used for quite a while, but again, it's a product that like I nearly finished with. I've got a few that I found in my collection that I'm like, come on Tanika, you just need to finish these up. So I'm going to use the lighter powder from the two. And with a very fine tip angled brush, this one here is the Zoeva Wing Liner Brush. I'm going to fill in the front of the brow and then I'm going to take a brow pen. Now you all know that I love my Emco Beauty Feathering Brow Pen. Here it is here, but I found another option. I was browsing the Priceline website and I saw that Essence had released the Tiny Tip Precise, Precise, Precise Brow Pen. So this is what it looks like here and the tip is a felt which the Emco is a brush tip and I have tried a Rimmel brow pen with a felt tip before and it was just way too thick but this tip is incredibly thin and it works so bloody good. Now at Priceline, there are only two shades. There's medium brown, which is what I have, and then a dark brown. But on the Essence website, it actually comes in a blonde. 
I'm spewing it's not available here in Australia. If you know how to get other Essence products to Australia where I can buy them, let me know because I would love to try the other shade. But this one I can get away with. So let me show you what I do because I'm, really, I'm so excited. All right, so I like to draw in the front of my brow and this line I like to do on a little bit of an angle as well. And then I like to blend that product up. And then if I need to, I get a little bit more powder and just fill that in there. So now that the front's filled in, I go in with my brow pen and start drawing small strokes in the front and then fill in any gaps along the tail. Do you see how thin those lines can be? <sighs> All right, that is pretty much it. How easy is that? And they look so fluffy. I've never had my brows look bushier than this. Like, <laughs> I've just been non-stop in the Natasha Denona Glam palette and I'm looking at my eyeshadows thinking, mix it up Tanika, spice up your life, but I don't want to. I just, I don't want to. Now I do usually like to prime my lids, but I'm just feeling lazy. I wonder if I just put a bit of shimmer on the lid and then a matte under the eye. Let's just go for it, hey? It'll probably look like trash, but whatever. <laughs> so, something interesting I have to share with you is, I don't know if I've talked about it before on my channel, but I was breaking out in hives for like a really long time, years now, and it was just unexplained. I thought it was a few different things from like perfumes. Oh wow, I've put way too much eyeshadow on. I need to watch what I'm doing. Oh, Tanika. I look like a raccoon. Hold please. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I need to put primer on. So because I went so heavy under the eye, I really feel like I need to even it up on top. So I'm going to put a bit of a matte through the crease and then the shimmer on the lid. <laughs> So anyway, as I was saying, I have been getting unexplained hives. I went to a doctor years ago, got a test for celiac disease, come back negative. I uh, went to a different doctor, got referred to an allergy specialist in Brisbane at the Royal Brisbane Hospital. They pretty much didn't give a shit. Um, end up going back there for a second appointment, was crying my eyes out, saying like, this is terrible like it does it gets in the way of life because it's not just like one or two hives like it is all over my face all over my neck my back my chest i'll insert a photo it is just so annoying and it's really itchy and it's hot and it's irritating i have to go home from work sometimes i tried different things with my diet i thought maybe it was fragrances i tried cutting things out and i just couldn't I couldn't find a connection. And this allergy specialist, his answer was to take an antihistamine every day. I was like, excuse me? That, that's not an answer. That's, you're just covering up the problem. How about we figure out what the problem is together? So anyway, he was annoying, it never went back there. And so I've just been putting up with it for a while, being like, meh, whatever. I had a feeling it had to do with like bread and wheat. So I did cut down on that, but I was still getting hive, so I was like, well, that can't be it. Anyway, I had enough, and I was like, all right, I need to go to another doctor. Um, I just like, I don't want this to happen on my wedding day. And so anyway, she's like, all right, let's start from the very beginning. I have some blood tests. First blood test I get comes back gluten intolerance and a wheat allergy. I'm like, you kidding? That's the answer. It, it seems so simple. <laughs> And then I was confused because I had that celiac test done so long ago, but obviously there's a difference between the two. But I was just like, oh, whatever. Like, I know what it is now, so I can deal with it. So I finally know, thank God. So I have been cutting gluten out of my diet for a few weeks now. And holy shit, do I feel better. And you know what? I haven't had hives once. 
so yeah I was really strict and I cut it out for a couple of weeks completely and now I've slowly been introducing a bit here and there just to kind of see what my intolerance is like how much I can handle and what symptoms appear when I do eat gluten I've noticed the bloating has completely gone down like I've been bloated for as long as I can remember and I just I just thought that's that's what my body did but oh my god I feel so much better in my stomach I notice as well when I eat bread I get a really stuffy and runny nose and now that I've made the connection if I eat a regular piece of bread it's not like it's just it's snotty so yeah it's been good to find out what the cause is and being able just to deal with that is so much easier than not worrying am I gonna get hives from this am I gonna get hives from that and like I know hives probably doesn't sound that bad and that's the vibe I got from the allergy specialist as well he said to me well can you breathe and I'm like yeah he was like mm, not that serious but man these they're just terrible and I'm so scared of it happening on my wedding day so I'm glad I know what it is now and I can I can deal with it Woohoo! Are any of you gluten intolerant or have a wheat allergy or celiac? What are your favorite meals? See, I feel like it hasn't been that bad when it comes to food. I do have a problem though with our Friday night takeaways because we always get like McDonald's or KFC and now I'm like... So that's all right but i feel like coles and woolworths here in australia have a lot of really good gluten-free options and alternatives so it's really not even that bad and i feel a thousand times better <laughs> all right i'm just going to finish the other eye and i'll be right back okay eyes are done i also went in with a little bit of this barbie and bys glamour liquid eyeshadow just to add a little bit of glitter and then for mascara I use the Maybelline Falsies this is my favorite Maybelline mascara like look <laughs> okay time for lips hmm. I'm going to go in with this lasting finish lip liner by Rimmel in the shade tiramisu ever since I got my makeup done a couple of weeks ago for my girlfriend's 30th I've really been using lip liner more I never used to use it, I was just like meh, whatever. But when the makeup artist used it, my lips looked just so much juicier. And she didn't even overline them, I don't think at all. Maybe a touch, but nothing like too dramatic. And yeah, they just looked really big and juicy. So I've been onto the lip liners lately. For lipstick, I'm going to use a bit of this W7 Lippy Cream in the shade Shout Out. It actually looks quite like a mauve. Whenever I use a bit of a deeper lipstick, I do like to go in with a lip brush just to really tidy up the edges. And then I'm going to take another lipstick by W7. This is the Velvet Luxe and this is in the shade What's Nude. It's just a bit of a lighter nude and I'm going to pop that in the center of my lips just using the lip brush. All right, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I had so much fun catching up it feels good to let it all out i did want to touch on the wedding real quick so we are getting married at the beginning of july so it's actually coming up like really quickly i did try my dress on again the other day and it fit a lot better than i thought it would thank god because i was really sad after we postponed and i did eat a lot of my emotions <laughs> But I'm feeling better, I'm feeling good. I did film a lot of my wedding prep and organization leading up to the postponement. So I do have all that footage to still go over and put together. But I think I'm just going to wait until after the wedding again because there's a lot of stuff in there that like, I don't want to spoil kind of thing. <laughs> So I will continue to keep filming leading up to the wedding now and I will put all those videos together and share that with you after the wedding. I am hoping to also get a little bit of my own footage on the actual wedding day because I think that would just be really nice to reminisce on and also share with you guys. Oh great, lipstick on my teeth. Oh well, I'm not saying all that again. <laughs> But yeah, I really appreciate you guys being patient with me and my erratic upload schedule at the moment. If you're new here to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for more erratic content. <laughs> 
But seriously, I do really appreciate you guys hanging on and I will be back in full force very soon. Lots of exciting content, as I said. But anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.